Hello everyone, I'm Nastya, designer and YouTuber. Today I'm going to show you how you can bring diversity to your character designs. Usually when designing a character, designers trend to design a standard European character with a standard body type, standard age, pretty young. And we can fix it easily. Here's some more or less what I would design a few years ago if I'm asked to design a female character. To bring inclusivity to your characters, you need to consider different variations you can apply to. For example, skin tones, non-Western closers, non-binary gender representation, etc, etc, etc. There's a lot of variations you can play with. Let's go back to my sketch of the character and see how I can break the standard and bring some diversity. I selected several variations to work with. Age, skin color, and ability. No wheelchair for this tutorial, guys. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see a tutorial about how to draw a wheelchair, because it's a super complex subject that deserves its own tutorial. I will be using my sketchbook to adjust the body proportions and make a first freehand sketch to import it later to Curve. I'll be using key reference points of the body like head, shoulders, hips and feet to adapt the body proportions. I'll be designing an aged character so we need to make a person a little shorter. Once I'm happy with the sketch, I'll take a picture of it directly with my iPad and continue working on my iPad. Then I open CureFab and create a new canvas and import the sketch. At this point, we'll need our sketch to stay quiet and decrease its opacity, so we can trace with pen tool vectors over the sketch. To do that, create a new layer for vectors and place it below the sketch layer. To trace the sketch, you'll be using the pen tool. No fill color. As for the stroke, use any vibrant, bright color you can see easily on your canvas. I'll be using a blue color. And here are a few tips for vector tracing your sketches. For example, close your strokes. Here is a button in the style menu that allows you to close the strokes and turn your curve into a closed shape. No fill color by the moment, otherwise you lose a tiny and important details below bigger strokes. Do one sector at a time. For example, I will be starting by the head and I'm not switching to another zone until I haven't traced all the shapes. So I make sure I don't miss any detail. I'll show you my tracing sequence using the head as an example. First we do the strokes, then coloring, and then placing them in correct order and adjusting the tiny details like notes and notes direction, etc. If you struggle getting the right skin tone, you can always check the color palette that comes with Curve or check color palettes on Pinterest. Also, here is an important point that this is a tutorial for middle-level users, so if you have any questions about the tools or adjustments I'm using, let me know your job in the comments, we'll be more than happy to help you guys and solve your jobs. We also have a bunch of beginner-friendly tutorials and explaining how each tool and adjustment works so you feel more control over the cure prop. Once you trace your sketch and place the cures in the right order, it's time to apply the color. I always recommend working with a predefined color palette. You can get one from Cures Default color palettes or you can find one from Pinterest, Color Hunt or any other online recursors. For this illustration, for example, I wanted to get a juicy, bright color palette. I 
and now it's time to jump to the rest of the sketch. Here are a few tips for the fine tuning, the final vectors when tracing a sketch with pencil. Adjust the order of the curves using Quick Menu and Layer Panel so you make sure the things are in the right order and any tiny detail gets lost. Use the Note tool to fine tune the curves and make sure your shapes are smooth and nice looking. Adjust the colors if needed, we are looking for great contrasting colors. Sometimes the colors are not the same in the color palette than in the final illustration. So, if you feel like you need to adjust a color, just try it, experiment and see what color works the best for your illustration. By the way, you're open to make any changes to your illustration after the sketch, for example. I realized that the legs turned out too short. Instead of recreating exactly the same strokes from the sketch, I made the change directly on the go and drawn the legs literally longer than it. they should be on the sketch. Once you have traced the rest of the body, hide the sketch layer and start coloring. The style choose for this character design combines flat design with line elements. That's why we'll need a mask to make the line end right at the border of the parent curve. Once you have colored everything, it's time to fine tune your vectors. Zoom in into details and check if all the details match properly. If not, adjust them using the note tool because these tiny details actually decide the quality perception of your illustration. And here is how we went from a standard Western character design to a diverse variation by changing only a few parameters. That's so powerful and incredible. Just look to all this contrast. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and share with us your results, what you come in, if you have any doubts, questions, of course, share them with us. We'll be more than happy to help you. Cheers!